Hey there Gator Nation and welcome back to another episode of the Gator Chomp. This week we'll be taking a look at the Counselor's Corner, a campus beautification project, as well as COVID-19 updates with our very own Nurse Hewlin. But first, let's learn something about our new student and teacher of the year. Here at Beauchamp High School, excellence is not a word we throw around lightly. It's something we strive to do and achieve in everything that we undertake. As such, it's often reflected in both our students and our teachers. Recently, we named Beauchamp High School's Teacher of the Year and our Student of the Year. Ms. Jennifer Abair, one of our career and technical teachers, took home the title of Teacher of the Year, while one of our seniors, Ms. Madison Collins, took home the title of Student of the Year. They were able to take some time out of their busy schedules to talk to us and give us a better idea of how exactly they achieve such excellence. I will take many positive experiences with me through the rest of my life because it's just so many great things that I have been a part of at Beauchamp High School down from the clubs to the sports that I have been a part of, the teachers, faculty. This school, well-rounded, is very positive. Um, it has allowed me to grow as a person. It has taught me very good life skills as into how to be more responsible, how to be more involved, how to get my voice heard, how to stay connected, and how to give back to our communities and do great things for myself and others. Madison not only enjoyed her time here at Beauchamp High School, but she hopes that the next generation of Gator will as well and she leaves this bit of advice for the underclassmen. To anyone out there that's just coming in, or even if you've been here for a while, or even if you just need guidance, is to always be yourself and take the risk. Take the risk and just do it. When you take a risk, you have so many opportunities in the front of you. No matter if you get it or not, you still always get something out of everything. You always learn new things every day whenever you get involved, whenever you try new things. If you stick to something that you know, you won't ever grow. As you can imagine, a student of this caliber has plans for after high school as well. I plan to attend LA Tech and major in the pre-physical therapy program. Then after I graduate, I want to further along my studies to become a physical therapist. We wish Miss Madison the best of luck as she tidies up the last leg of her high school journey. And we hope that she takes the best of memories with her for the rest of her life. We don't just brag on our students here at Beauchamp High School. We brag on our teachers as well. Ms. Jennifer Abair recently took home the award for Teacher of the Year. It was a huge honor to be selected. I was very surprised. Um, I'm one of those teachers that loves teaching, loves teaching students about what I love. It's been a great honor to be here. We have a lot of fun in my classes. We are often in the cooking lab. A large part of what makes Ms. Abair stand out as Teacher of the Year is the fact that she took trying times such as these and turned them into a positive. It has been a lot of fun this year. Uh, it has started out a little strange and different. I've enjoyed the smaller classes. I feel like you can be an even better teacher when you have less students in the room because you can give a lot more individual and personal attention to those students that need it. Even though she may be at the top of her game, Miss Abair knows that she had help along the way. I had a wonderful, wonderful mentor to help me in the years that after I got here. And Miss Pearl Weibel um, was a huge help to me and a huge mentor when I got here. So a lot of what, I've, what I do, I learned from her and uh, I'm in her classroom now. As with any great teacher, Miss Abair is happiest when her students are learning. And when the kids enjoy what you're doing as, and they become you know, excited about what they're doing, then that makes my job a lot easier. Whether teacher or student of the year, our Gator community stands behind them and we're proud to have them here as part of our family. Okay. Welcome back guys. We're on episode two of The Counselor's Corner. Once again, I'm Ms. Boudreaux. For my ninth graders, 
I really don't have much of an announcement, but I also just want you guys to know that focusing on your grades your freshman year is important. Once you meet with me your, your sophomore year, it becomes a little more vital and then we'll get into detail. So continue looking on Google Classroom for the things that I post and just continue to be engaged. For my sophomores, a few of you have already met with me and we're going to continue to meet until I've met with every last one of you guys. We're doing sophomore pathways and we are actually designing our plan for our junior and senior years. So don't be alarmed when I call you out of class to come and visit, because that's all we're doing. We're visiting, we're going over what is right and best for you in the future. Also, in Google Classroom, I've had a few sophomores ask about ACT preparation, so I am posting ACT boot camps, free online sessions available to you. Click on the link and see what's accessible for you to access. For my student athletes, once I meet with you as a sophomore, we're gonna also go into detail how you become eligible for NCAA eligibility. So guys, thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see y'all next time. Hello, my Gator family again. This is Miss Angel coming to you with a few updates um, from my counselor's office. I want to talk first of all to all of my juniors and seniors about the importance of your ACT scores. First of all, ACT is a required test you need to take for graduation in the state of Louisiana. So to meet that graduation requirement, obviously you need to take that test. But for those of you who plan on going to a post-secondary school, uh, uh, particularly a four-year university or college, and you want the state to be able to pay for part of that because you've earned that money called TOPS, the lowest level of TOPS is your TOPS opportunity. And you need a minimum score of a 20 on your ACT to get that minimum amount of money. All the way up to our TOPS honors, which you need a, a minimum ACT score of a 27. So if you wanna get the most money that you've worked for from TOPS, you need to score a 27. So you need to make sure that you are retaking that ACT test as often as you can and come and see me or Miss Keisha Boudreau for a fee waiver, which pays for the ACT test. You get up to two of those in your high school career. Another thing I wanna to talk to you about is choosing colleges. And my juniors might be thinking, oh, this is not for me, but juniors, it is never too late to start looking into colleges. Right now, seniors, is when you should be applying to your colleges. Any college that you are interested in, right now, you should be applying to those. A few things to think of is you first of all go to that college's web page and look for their admissions tab. Everything should be under that admissions tab. They should be contact information for you to call and ask them questions, requirements for entrance, um, anything that you may need should be under that admissions tab, including the application. Now, some schools are waiving an application fee right now. So check those out. I know UL is one of them for sure. We um, received an email from them. So check that out. Application fees range anywhere from $25 going on up, but the average I've seen is about a $50 application fee. But if you can get that waived, that would be great. A few sites that you can go to. First of all, again, go to those colleges you're interested in. Go to their websites, go to their admissions tab and look into them. Another site you can go to is a site called gotocollegefairs.com. And on this site, you can do virtual college fairs where you can see these schools virtually if you can't actually physically make an appointment to visit them. And always remember when applying to use my name and my email address, aangel1 at slpsb.org as your high school contact person. I will be the one that will be sending them transcripts and sending ACT scores and letters of recommendation if they ask. 
And of course, you can always email me to ask me questions on any of these colleges. The last thing I want to talk to you all about today is scholarships. Scholarships, you should apply for all scholarships you can because there is no amount of money that is too little for you to get. Some may say, oh, this is only a hundred dollar scholarship. But what you don't realize is a hundred dollars may pay for an online book for you. It may pay for an actual textbook. Whenever you get tops, it doesn't pay for all of your college. It'll pay for your tuition mostly. So you'll have fees, you'll have books, you'll have living expenses. Some of these scholarships pay for that or at least gives you money to put towards it. So please apply to every scholarship you can get a hold to. You can see many of the scholarships I post. If you go to our Google Classroom and go to my interactive office, I have on my bookshelf, I have a book called Scholarships. If you click on it, I will put the most recent scholarships I get in there. Also, you can go to a website, um, mylosfa.la.gov slash scholarships. They have a list of scholarships by the month they are due on there. There's some crazy ones. There's some really odd ones. Um, don't overlook those. A lot of people want to overlook those because they, they think it's just, it's, that's too crazy to be a real scholarship when people don't apply for them. And then you have a better chance of getting them. If you apply, you cannot get any scholarship you do not apply for. Again, keep checking my Google classroom for more scholarships. Keep checking the board in North hall, the counselor's corner board for more scholarships and email me with any questions you may have. Without a doubt, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a massive impact on our current school year. Even with the hopes of a vaccine on the way, we still must do our part to make sure that Boshan High School remains safe for our students, faculty, and teachers. Here to help us out with that endeavor is Nurse Hewlin, the school nurse for Boshan High School. She's here to answer a few vital questions to help keep us safe during these unprecedented times. Practice social distancing by maintaining a greater than six foot distance from others, wearing your mask covering both your nose and your mouth, frequent hand washing and hand sanitizing, so elevated temperature, cough, shortness of breath, new lost a taste or smell, trouble breathing or shortness of breath. Um, some other symptoms include chills, muscle or body aches, sore throat, headache, stomach ache, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. We have this screening protocol and it's based off of the Office of Public Health and the Centers for Disease Control. This is our St. Landry Parish protocol. And if you have any one of the symptoms in the top box, which would be an elevated temperature, a cough, shortness of breath, or difficulty breathing, or new loss of taste or smell, any one of those symptoms, definitely we recommend that you get tested. Or if you have any two of the other general symptoms, that would be like nasal congestion, runny nose, chills, um, vomiting or nausea, headache, sore throat, muscle or body aches, severe abdominal pain, active diarrhea, or an unexplained rash. The definition of a close contact would be within a six foot distance of somebody that tested positive for 15 minutes or greater time in a cumulative 24 hour period. No, if you're not feeling well, you should not come to school. Um, what we would like for you to do is just contact the school and let them know your reason for not coming to school. 
you will be excused and you will be allowed to cl complete your work online. Yes, if someone in your household tests positive for COVID, then everyone in that household would be considered close contacts with that positive person. And those close contacts would need to quarantine. And the reason is because it can take up to 14 days from your last exposure to somebody that tested positive to actually develop symptoms. Also keep in mind that a person is considered contagious two days before they ever start developing any symptoms at all. So that's why quarantine of close contacts is so important. No, it's very important to wear your mask covering you, both your nose and your mouth. The primary purpose of a mask is to prevent respiratory droplets from traveling to others, and that would be droplets like whenever you cough or sneeze. The mask helps contain those and, and prevents it from traveling to others. We appreciate Nurse Hewlin for being one of the frontline fighters in this fight against the coronavirus pandemic, and we hope that everybody here will heed her warnings to stay safe and be responsible gators. The oak trees of Beauchamp High School are phenomenal to behold. They're beautiful, graceful, and resilient. They've been here far longer than the school and will be here for years and years to come. The very name Beauchamp comes from the original French meaning beautiful oak. So you can imagine we have quite an attachment to these trees, but they're not the only beautiful thing on the campus. You see, recently, our agricultural sciences teacher, Richie Baddow, started undertaking a project to beautify the front of the school to make it just as welcoming as the oak trees limbs themselves. We're, uh, we're beautifying the BCHS in front of Moshan High School. They're gonna be putting a red mulch down around the, the BCHS to try to help um, try to beautify our, our, the front of our school where our beautiful gator is in the front and try to make things, make things attractive in, in the front of Moshan High School today. Um, we, we purchased 20 bags of mulch, compliments of our Boshan FFA department, and uh, hopefully make things look, look good today. The new landscaping to the front of the campus will certainly be a welcome addition, especially considering many people have been looking a little bit more closely at the campus ever since the new marquee sign was installed in the front yard. We also had the chance to chat briefly with Jacques Patin, one of our seniors here at Beauchamp High School, and ask him what part he took in the project. Before they started putting the mulch down, I went around and sprayed Roundup on all the little weeds within the big grass that bring out the BCHS. So when we put down the mulch, it still looked pretty. We just kind of leveled it all out the same to make it all even and just cover up where the dirt was. So just the BCHS for show. We love to see our campus stay beautiful. As such, this is only the first piece of the project, which will surely develop into something grander. There's always room for more beautification on campus, but this small project is certainly a step in the right direction. One thing's for certain, the trees don't have to be the only beautiful thing here at Beauchamp High School. That's it for this episode, Gators. Be sure to tune in next time for another exciting time here at the Gator Chomp. For all of us here at Beauchamp High School, we'll see you next time at the Swamp.